U.S. officials might have gotten a last-minute heads up on Israel's retaliatory strike on Iran, but denied involvement. The United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Uh, what we're focused on, what the G7 is focused on, and again, it's reflected in our statement and in our conversation, is our work to de-escalate uh, tensions. The fear over further retaliation from an Israeli strike on Iran has increased with multiple warnings from Iranian officials all week. If the Israeli regime commits that grave error once again, our response will be decisive, definitive, and regretful for them. But there was optimism a wider war wouldn't break out following Israel's limited response. The fact that both Israel and Iran are downplaying it is a, is a good sign. Um, so this, the, the escalation needs to stop. Israel proved last night to the, to the Iranian regime they can hit them anywhere within their homeland. So uh, hopefully the, I, the response appears to be proportional and we'll see if we can get everything to cool down a little bit. It appears that the two countries turned down the heat after the direct conflict. Both nations have never been shy about conducting shadow war type strikes on each other. The willingness to now attack directly, country to country, puts conflict in the Middle East in uncharted territory. What we're seeing right now is this conflict uh, cross a line from a shadow war to what is in essence an open, low-grade direct conflict between these two countries. Isfahan, the city in Iran where the explosions were heard, is home to a military base and some nuclear facilities, with experts speculating that Israel was sending the message, we can hit you where it hurts if we want to. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Galka.